And so that leads into the third expectation that I see, and that is a surge of interest in linked data, the linked data movement. Uh, uh, you have your, all your vocabularies to begin with, the thesauri, the complex code lists, all those enumerated lists in MARC, all the enumerated lists in places like Premise, and um, uh, METS doesn't really have them, MODS. Uh, you have term lists in RDA. Uh, you have these vocabularies, and RDA is working with a vocabulary system. And we, uh, at the Library of Congress, opened id.loc.gov uh, 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 about a month ago. Yeah, a month ago, because it was the end of the very end of, of April. Um, right now, it has LCSH in it, and it has LCSH in. Uh, mm, slightly diminished form from what you get if you get LCSH in MARC because it has not got as full a content designation as MARC. We hope to improve that and, and uh, in fact we do. We plan to do sort of a re-implementation uh, when we get our uh, uh, native XML database that will, will give us uh, more, give us MARC output if we want. MARC XML output is probably not going to give us 2709. Uh, but um, we also are going to expand it to MARC vocabularies Mark code lists, premise um, enumerated lists, they are really anxious to get some of their premise uh, group is to get some of their vocabularies into some availability of this sort. And right now it's only downloadable in this sort of first uh, initial implementation in RDF XML and in, uh, in tuples, but we will be expanding what you can download it into. And you can download the whole database also. We also expect and hope to put names in, the names database. We've got the subjects, we hope to put the names. Um, with, with these, you will begin then to be able to have actionable URIs associated with the concepts. And uh, the, the concepts in the, the LCSH, the concepts in the vocabularies, uh, what they call concepts, everything is called a concept. Uh, but, uh, um, and that will enable some of the linking that people like to talk about with respect to the world after RDA and <coughs> is not enabled unless we have actionable URIs. For the MARC communications environment, what does this mean? Well, t to begin with, or as I put in the last place, to be explored, but also you can, you can easily manage, uh, imagine automatic update, uh, such as if you have the URI I mean, it's a kind of thing, it's an extension of what you have already and you in the German community know about because of the uh, uh, having record numbers in your, in, your record, in your bibliographic records that linked with headings. And if you, if you have a URI, the machine in the background can check once a week to see if that, in fact, that subject has been changed or updated or in any way. Uh, we'll, we'd have to work out how we did that. It, it could do automatic language exchange. You could imagine that happening. But this is all a little bit in imagination at this point. It's because there's no single path, the tough questions are still there for the bibliographic formats, even in an XML environment. Actionable versus descriptive. Uh, which do we want? Parsed data, textual data. Controlled access or transcribed. Transcribed has been the ma mantra of the uh, ISBDs for many years, and it's served very well in certain ways, but it fights, it fights with um, controlled access, it fights with parsed data. And so it's, it's not clear what, will ha what should happen there, or if, if we can reconcile ourselves to what people say, oh, no, duplication, to real duplication. You transcribe it, and you also do it in another way. Codes versus words. Uh, when we started talking about the RDA vocabularies at uh, Marby, uh, Reinhold brought the German community's concern about words, English words, for those vocabularies versus maybe having some codes. Library versus non-library traditions, which we um, uh, we keep saying we're going to expand out out of our library environment, and we do need to expand out of our library environment, but. It's not, it's not clear uh, uh, what we're willing to accommodate. My model versus your model, because we've um, 
talked about several different models today, the leading one, of course, being our RDA Ferber uh, uh, pathway, but um, there are lots of other models in the world. And a person in my office who's, whose background actually is in archives uh, is a little bit of a fighter against the RDA uh, uh, notion that the world all looks like RDA. Um, stability versus change. How, you know, we've had a very long, very stable environment. Uh, we could go into a world uh, environment of constant change, but that costs money, the last item. And then there's basic retrieval versus scholarly retrieval. And I think that what the MARC format gives us in the detail of description, and RDA too, is uh, something that will help the scholar find what they want. But then you have, when you're talking about trying to um, uh, catalog some of these uh, other things that some of these electronic resources and things like the uh, websites that I was talking about earlier, you have, you want basic, you, basic retrieval's fine, basic and cheap. So cost is, is will be a factor. Thanks again. <laughs>